Hello, welcome to the video for what is volume, the trigger volume. I have a quick little example here. It's not going to look very different from our normal examples. If we walk into our trigger volume here, we see the platform in front of us disappeared and then the cube itself fell down and was destroyed. Now, I did not use blueprints to really do any of this. The level trigger volume is basically intended to be used as a quick and dirty way of prototyping and testing things. What you can do is simply drag a trigger volume into your level and then by default it will be translucent and it will be a box setup. There are no real options for this. Remember you can change the brush to make it a different shape as well as a different size. I have added a generic see-through box in the middle of our trigger volume just so we can see it. But of course when the game runs it's going to be transparent completely. Now to use a trigger volume, since this is in your world outliner as part of your level, you're basically going to need to create an event in your level blueprint. So if we open up our level blueprint, you can see the event I have here. It's really simple, basically when we overlap our trigger volume, we destroy our cube which is our platform. I'll go ahead and recreate this. What you want to do is make sure you have your trigger volume selected. Go into your level blueprint. Right click to bring up your node list. And then you want to add an event for your trigger volume. And I want to do a collision for on begin overlap. You have other options. But for our example we're just testing an overlap event. Once we do that we've created an event for this trigger volume inside of our level blueprint. If we go back. We find our cube, which is back here, that I want to destroy. We're going to go ahead and create a reference to it. Same way, in our level blueprint, right click, create a reference to the cube. And we're just simply going to destroy this actor when we overlap the trigger. Now that I've gone ahead and set that up, cleaned it up a little bit. If we run it, we'll get the same result. We walk into our trigger volume, it's destroyed, and the other cube falls down. That's it, it's pretty simple. Remember, trigger volumes are intended to be used as like a simple prototyping thing, maybe a quick one-off event where you don't really need a lot of functionality. They are intended to be used inside the level blueprint so you can create an event for them. And it's really meant for prototyping in a quick and easy way. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.